Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to show you a few cards. Then I'm going to show you a couple little things from the catalog. But um, these I did today. So if you look at this card, I took the inside from this one and then did that. Um, these I colored with the pencils. I didn't use water, just blending them together. Um, so the watercolor pencils are really great on dark colors. Um, then I, I was trying a technique. Let me let me show you the ones with the technique. And when I master it, I will do something with it. But this was the first one I did, and I did this a couple weeks ago. But it's using a stencil and sponging um, with the framelits. And uh, it's pretty. I, I actually put my paper down on something and then had to sponge the edges, but I liked the way it came out. Um, this one I did today, but I wasn't crazy that you couldn't really see the background like that. So there's a few things I have to figure out. And then I did this one. I mean, you guys let me know if, you know, you like it. Um, you can kind of see it in the flowers, so I, I have to work on that, but We'll see. As I master it, then I will teach it. Um, here's one that I did show a couple weeks ago. And, of course, this one that was done on the black with the watercolor. And then this one, which is the one we're going to do tonight. So I'm going to put these aside because I do want to show you a couple little things. Um, this is the Take Your Pick tool. So I had something, I think it was called the pick-me-up tool. Now I got the cover stuck. Okay. Um, I think the one I had was the pick-me-up, and all it had was this and then a plastic piece on the end, um, which is all like yuck already, but I've had it a couple years. So this one has poker. It has this flat piece, which is great for taking off, you know, little things like that. Um, also, if you've ever made a mistake and you want to lift up your paper, you can kind of put this in and then kind of just go around and and lift it without tearing your your paper so um, that's an awesome awesome thing um, it's it's oops ten dollars uh, this has a putty in it that comes out so if you have little bits that you need to pick up there it is and then you can put your glue down put your piece down um, you know, sometimes our fingers don't work. So it also comes with a refill. So that is an awesome thing. The one that I have cannot, can't be refilled. Um, it's just like, use it, throw it away. So this will pull out, put this in. Um, for $10, this, this is really awesome. Um, then you can buy refills once you're done with this. And they're three fifty, and you get two of these. So this is a mighty fine tool that I'll be using all the time, especially with these fingers. So what else I wanted to show you is every once in a while I make a mistake and I'm in a hurry and last week being so bad I was in a hurry doing my order and I ordered wood. I don't like to use wood anymore. I'm also not the type, you know, for the couple dollars to send it back. So what I do is I throw this away or I use it for something else. And then for this particular one, well, no, I will. It's not when you get it regular. Okay, so I peel this off. And then I peel this off. 
and it's sticky on both pieces. So I put this down. This one I don't put any glue on because when I use any background stamp, I ink it up just like this and then put my paper over it and rub. So there's no need to worry about putting this one to a block. And then what I do is I pull this out. I'll use the big case for scraps and something I'm working on and I'm carrying with me. So then I take this and goes this way. And then I'm not going to do it now, but what I do is I fold this piece here so that it fits back on the spine. And then I'm good to go and it fits on my shelf with everything else. So now when I do, this is the other set. So you're getting a little preview right there. Um, and I didn't do any of them yet, but like I said, I get rid of all my blocks. I give them to somebody who can burn them in their fireplace or I use them for something else. But I'll just show you on this one and show you what I use um, to make it sticky. So I peel this off. This one is the two people. So I peel this off like I did with the big one. And my two little snowmen. So then I put this right on there. And then I take, I should have gotten it ready. Hopefully it's sitting right here. Of course it's not. Okay, I got one. It's just not an open one, so I'm not going to... Maybe I will do it. Let's see. Yep, I can do it. Okay, so what I do is... This is... Aileen's Tack It Over and Over. And what it is, is a temporary fabric adhesive. Um, and I just take a little bit on here. Oh, I have to cut it. Ah. I knew there was something. Okay, it's cut. So I take just a little bit. And, of course, a lot is coming out. And I'm lazy, so I just use my finger. And then when I've done them all, I just set it aside back in the case. Um, and then once this is dry, I just tap it with my finger so it's not as sticky and it'll stick to the block perfectly. So, and I do the same thing. I take this out and I put it in a small piece. So now I don't want that to get on the glue. But this is great stuff for hanging posters. You can put it on paper and hang things up. I found a lot of uses for it. Okay, so let's get to stamping. I miss my stamping. Okay, wood blocks gone. So we're going to take this one, this piece I pre cut out, and we're going to take the little holly and the black ink. So I'm going to stamp it right there. I'm going to turn it. And I've got my hair stuck to my fingers. And there. And then put that aside. And here's a preview of some of the new colors. We've got light shaded spruce, dark shaded spruce. Um, dark and light Blackberry Bliss, Cajun Craze, 
light mango and dark mango melody. Um, yep, and real red. Oh, and the best, basic black, light and dark, which I haven't tried on anything yet. But I did use some of the greens. We're going to use them now, too, um, on a couple of these cards. Here's Here, this was the real red. This was the mango. Mmm, it's pretty. Okay, so I was so excited to see more colors. And I'm just going to push them aside. So I need my dark red. Um, I also brought in the light Call Me Clover for this. And you could do this with the watercolor pencils also. And then I had to use something else that's new. And I'm going to say, because I'm a little Jewish girl and I don't really know some of this stuff. <laughs> so, I did the light Call Me Clover. Oops, and I just went out of the lines really bad. And then I took the light shaded spruce. And just brought in a little bit of, and you could, like, leave this part out if you wanted to. Just do some straight coloring. That's what's great about the blends. But I blended. And I'm only going to do a little of this, because I did do one in advance. But I'll show you <laughs> what kind of threw me was, and somebody could type it for me because... Like, I really don't know what they are. These little things here that come out of it, um, this is what I took. This is, here, I'll show you all of them. Um, Vegas Gold, it's an all-purpose glitter paint. Um, we had the um, Frost White a few years ago, and I still have it. It's still good. So I didn't purchase that one, but I did get the copper, the gold, and then this champagne mist that I used. So what I did was, it has a little ball in it, so I shook it up. And then I took a dry paintbrush, and I just took some out of the lid, and I colored these little things that I really don't know what they are. A sprig of something. Did anybody type it, what it's called? Uh, hmm. That too, yeah, okay. Does anybody know what these things are called? Is it just a decoration? I wish we were on like FaceTime so I could hear you. So I just put those little drops of that and I'm going to bring in the one that I did. And I might add a little bit to it, but can you see the sparkles in there? So I will finish. Let me just do that. I'm going to stamp the Merry Christmas. And then I'll finish coloring this one later. I'm always upside down. Why is that? Merry Christmas! And a happy Hanukkah! Okay. So, that's what I did with that one. Then, the paper that I used comes from right from the catalog. You don't have to worry about that new holiday catalog yet. And this is under the mistletoe. And I just got this, um, I think a few weeks ago, but it's got some really pretty paper in there and the plaid, these little dots, which would have also looked good with, with this. reindeer. So it's right there. 
Oh, I know. I got it when it was on sale last month. It was buy three. Okay, so we're going to take this. Now you get to see some of the new ribbon. Oops. So I think this is Lovely Lipstick Gross Grain Ribbon, and this is one eighth. And then there's this beautiful velvet. And this is a quarter inch, I'm thinking. But I don't, yeah. This is a quarter inch. So what I did was took this little goodie. Um, let me just get the right direction. Okay. And then I took, put tape all the way across and put that in the middle. And then I did the same thing and if you don't have one of these mats these are the silicone mats is a must-have because anything you do anything that sticks on here will just wipe off Okay, so I did that, and then I took a scissor and just trimmed that off. So there was no wrapping, made it very easy. All right, this is like rolling up on itself. Somebody is sending me messages. And let me just Okay, and then the other thing that I did just to give this a, a little wrong side. Just to give this a little definition, I went around the side. You don't want to use the tip, you just use the side of it. And sometimes I do this when I cut something out so that it's not so stark. So if, if it's something that was stamped in black and I'm cutting it right up to the black, I'll usually do this just so it's, but can you see the little bit of definition that gives that? And of course you want to see your, your blends coming through the back. Oh my, very slow. I got them. And then that, and I think I want to just add a little bit more of that sparkly champagne. Let's give it another shake so there's some in the lid. So did anybody post for me what this sprigs on? So mistletoe has sprigs. So did I not, should they have been green? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I feel so stupid. But I kind of like the sparkly. All right, so that's gonna 
that's going to dry. And that's my card for tonight. I hope you like it. I know I have work to do on some of these other ones. But I still kind of like that, even though you, you see the green within the flowers. It's a little different. So we'll put that there. And thank you for joining me. Thank you for all, all, all your prayers for my cousin because she's a miracle and it's working. Um, and I will hopefully see you on Sunday. I will post before that. And um, it'll be a Sunday surprise because I just don't know. Thanks again and I'll see you soon. Bye.